Grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Holy, 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 Lord of God of heaven and earth. The heavens and the earth are full of thy glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. The Sanctus. That song of the angels before the throne of God in heaven is our song comes from our lips. We are joined with them in proclaiming the glory and the holiness of the Lord. Have you heard it? Have you heard it this week? Have you heard the angels singing of the glory of God? Have you heard God's messengers speaking and proclaiming to you His goodness and His grace? An incredible moment. One that might even bring a tear to your eye. One that is intended to bring a joy and peace to the troubled soul. A truly glorious moment for Christ's church. Well, most of it. Not so much for Isaiah, is it? When Isaiah experiences this moment, when he is in the midst of it, standing before the throne of God, surrounded by angels and archangels, and experiences what really goes on in that sanctus, he is not filled with glory. He is not filled with joy or peace, but fear. Woe is me. For I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. He sees the holiness of God and is convicted of his unholiness. But what's interesting is that he's not worried about the unholiness of what his eyes have seen. He is not worried about the unholiness of what his hands and his feet have done. He is not concerned with the impurity of the thoughts of his mind and of his heart. His attention is on his lips. Why? Why his lips? Jesus says it is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but what comes out of the mouth, out of the lips, this defiles a person. What do you think? Would you be worried about your lips? What comes out of your mouth? Is James right that the tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness? It is a relentless evil full of deadly poison. With it, we bless our Lord and Father, and with it, we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. Do we? Do we sing, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth, in one breath, and then in the next, out of our lips, we tear down and we tear apart our neighbor, made in his image and likeness. Do we tell lies about our neighbor? Do we tell lies about ourselves? Inflate ourselves, make more of ourselves than we really are? Do we betray our neighbor? Betray their trust, telling their secrets to any and to all who will hear them? Do we talk behind their backs or maybe just to their face and insult them? ridicule them because they don't talk or act or look the way we think that they should. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, these things ought not be so. We are a people of unclean lips. Yet to the unclean lips of Isaiah, to the unclean lips of us, God has an answer. A seraphim, an angel, a messenger of God goes to the altar of the Lord, to that place of sacrifice in his presence that is before him always and takes a burning coal and touches the lips of Isaiah. Takes away the guilt, takes away the sin. His uncleanness is no more. 
So from the place of sacrifice. That is before the Lord God always. From the place of the cross comes our forgiveness. As the incarnate word of God hangs there from his lips come his prayer. Father, forgive them. There, the word of God sacrificed for you says your guilt is taken away and your sin atoned for. So when God's messenger comes and stands before you in the stead and by the command of his Lord as a call and ordained servant and says to you, your sins are forgiven, you would know your guilt is taken away, your sin atoned for. And as he takes that burning coal, as he takes that bread and wine that is the body and blood of Jesus, the word of God incarnate from the altar and puts it upon your lips, your uncleanness is gone. Your unholiness is gone. Your impurity is gone. You are made holy by Christ. Your lips are are cleansed so that they might be again that bringer of good news. That in your lips, from your mouth, might come that praise and glory of God that you would bring to all the people. The holy, holy, holy Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Save us, Lord. He has. You are forgiven. In the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs>